Today is a lazy poor day and I'm just about to embark on a long road trip to meet a very special person and on the way I'll be picking up my travel companion for the day. So my first stop is at Mayura Place in Kalambu 5 to pick up Visakhi at Chandrasekhar. Rupiah visipan dah ke wanti akan. Check ke kat tama ida bendi hari ni. So I've been a great fan of Nita Fernando uh, since I was in my early teens. Her first movie I saw was in 1976. I was, I think, 14 years old. Uh, Vijay Dharma Shri's Duhulu Malak, which was a hot film for its time. Uh, uh, she won the Best Actress Award at the OCIC Film Festival that year. Uh, Adulterous Wife. And the first time I think there was a long lip kissing scene in Sri Lankan cinema. And then 21, then uh, I think, yeah. So 21 years later, she pops up again with uh, Prasanna Vitanage's Power Valu, which she produced and uh, won for herself the Best Actress Award at the Singapore Film Festival. Blank again. And then 22 years later, in 2020, comes Visa Kesar Chattusekaran's Pangshu, in which she plays Baba Nona, and she wins the Best Actress Award at the Nice International Film Festival in France. So Rita has got her own personal trilogy of Dhulu Malak and of uh, Power Valu, and of Pangsho. So I'm here today with uh, Bisake Sachantu Sekharam. They're going on a road trip, leaving Colombo all the way to Khartoum area to visit Nita Fernando in, on, on, on home ground. And I'm trying to, I think I can, draw a lot of weird parallels between Baba Nona of Pangsho and Nita Fernando, the private human being in Khartoum area. Let's see how it goes. So driving to Cartoon area, I spoke about Nita's personal trilogy uh, as an actress, uh, Duhulu Malak and Paul Maludu and Pausho. And this year being her 45th anniversary in cinema as an actress, going back to Landaka Mahima in 1965. Uh, Nita, who, who was Nilupa of Duhulu Malak to Nita Fernando way back in 1976? Nilupa was the character that Lili uh, Dharmasri offered me. Uh, I, I like that character very much. It uh, was the forbidden love. Forbidden love, yes. And as a husband, you go out yes. with another Man. young guy, yeah. So that was very interesting. But uh, <laughs> Were you shy to do it? Were you no. embarrassed to do no, it? No, no, no. I think I was also at that You were young, yes. And I didn't. I didn't care. My husband was there. Did he an object to it? No, he's the one who said, if you do that character, please do it right. Because, uh, yeah, he told me that. That's how I really I love him so much. He was very understanding, and he said, "Do it well, darling, because it's a very uh, rare character." And then do it well because Tony's there. He loves Tony, yes. and uh, Ravindra was very good. And so I was in love with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so Ravindra, Tony, and Elian. Three of them. <laughs> Three of them. Yeah, Elian was they always behind. And then uh, 21 years later comes Prasanna Vitanagi's Paul Valdo, who was violent to Nita Fernando at that time. Violet was the 
character that I did, Paul Valadu, and uh, Tony was Victor. That was my first love, apparently. And I meet him after a long time as a patient. So this Violet has no husband, two grown daughters, and she takes this man to the house, thinking that he, she's going to treat him after a long time, like would make him better feel better, like they were sick. But she falls in love with that person, forgetting that you have daughters and going against the religion, going against everything. And uh, so that was a very unusual character. And then she comes to eventually, you know, because she made a mistake and she asked for God's forgiveness and everything. That was against my religion too, like, you know, but anyway, that was one of the challenging characters. Vita is a dog lover. This is Cookie and she's eight years old and she's a lion shepherd. You might remember the little puppy in Park Shu that was running around the court, uh, courthouse garden. There's a story behind the puppy. Nita, tell us a story about the puppy in Park Shu. I think uh, our director, Lisa, saw this little puppy. Apparently he thought that he could find some uh, little fellows there, like, you know, and he found him. And he knew that I love animals, especially dogs and cats. So he somehow uh, got a shot of that uh, innocent fellow, like a little puppy. And really people like that. And people remember that shot really very much. And then um, after that we call her, it's a she. Then I said, I told Lisa that I'm going to take her to Kalamu. He said that, I knew that you were going to take him. <laughs> so we took, took her to a vet in Andhraghapur and got her to get all the injections and everything and we brought her to Colombo. She was friendly with everybody, I think all the unit boys. She didn't allow anyone to work, she she goes and like, you know, bite their trousers and, trousers and feet and everything and like, you know, she was very friendly. So where's Cookie they, now? Not cookie. She's Sorry. noni. Uh, noni, noni. She's noni. I mean, call her noni. <laughs> right now she's in Naputale. I think uh, I gave it to Anand. Uh, so, Baba Rona and Noni and, and Nita and Cookie. What a combination. So, Nita plays Baba Rona, the Dobi woman in Pisake Sashamta Sekhar's function. Now, few would know that the little Nita Fernando, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old, would stand right here as a child in this house, the backyard of the, of the Fernando house in Cartoon area, and welcome Julia Takka. She was the doby of the village, and she came laden with freshly laundered clothes, uh, and gave them here and took the dirty clothes away. So it might have been, a, in a sense, a sense of deja vu, Nita playing a character she knew as a child. Nita, what was Julia Takka like? Going back many years. Yeah, we call her Nanda. Nanda. Juliet, Juliet Nanda. Uh, she's an elderly lady, uh, wear the jacket and cloth, and bring that uh, bundle of uh, clothes on her head, and she can walk without touching. They're so used to it. And uh, she comes uh, and sit this area like this. No chairs. No, even if you offer a chair, she doesn't. That's her chair. Like you know, she just sit there. So my mother bring it cup of tea or whatever else. Then they both have a big chat like my mother. My mother loves to uh, talk to her, I remember. And uh, so she brings out all the stories uh, within that. Every every fortnight she comes, like two weeks, once in two weeks. And uh, she brings like nice, nice little stories about the village, uh, who got married, who got... Who big girl. <laughs> who attend the age and uh, who died, like, you know, like that. So my mother come to know a lot of things. And, uh, so she keeps talking. And, uh, was she expensive? How much did she charge? I, oh, I, I can't remember that. Like you know, at that time, like you know. I was she proud? Because in in the film, Baba Nona, she has a little bit of pride, uh, and dignity. Sorry, dignity. She I'm, has dignity. Really, I, I can't go to that. Okay. I can't go that far because we were we were not that mature enough to like find out. But she's she's good. So Nita, how uh, how trustworthy? was Julieta. Yeah, she is because um, once my father had her, his whole salary in the pocket apparently. He woke up and asked my mother, where's my trust? She said, I gave it to Julia, I could wash her. <laughs> then uh, Julia found that out. That they the checked was the pockets. The thing. Yes. Yeah, she checked the pockets, I'm sure. Yeah. And she brought it back. So she could have kept it like, you know, very, very innocent and uh, very trustworthy. 
Yes, and so playing a Dobi woman was not difficult for you because no. you saw. Yeah, I, I you grew up with one. How she, how she, see how she spent that uh, cloth, and she, uh, she count dirty clothes, and when she comes, also she takes everything, and she, my mother has a little book, <laughs> she, she marks them, and she takes them, and she counts them. Very nice. So when I got that punch of Baba, no, na, I really, I suddenly like the thought of Delhi. So you are Baba Nona. You knew Jyotaka many years ago. How different are were these two women? I find uh, innocent wise, like you know, she's very uh, except that Baba Nona didn't gossip. <laughs> Baba Nona was worried about the son. I found that she had a character, like you know, she had, she was uh, she had guts to go and talk to the lawyers. She was not educated that much. She could she could read, but other than that, uh, she did her job very well. And uh, she went to the lawyer. She went to went to Colombo bypass course, and uh, she was straightforward enough to ask any news of my son few times. Right? And when she heard about some uh, excavation, right? Uh, digging the digging the things, the and uh, she heard it, and she ran, and she gave dirty looks and everything, and like she was angry. So she was showing. She had a character, I think. Julia, of course, I don't know if she had to face that kind of things, but uh, Julia was a very innocent, uh, regular, like you know. Her, her looks like Julia Cas, how she wore the cloth, the jacket, and how she carried the, the bundle of clothes. Ready for ten. Ready for ten. How she walked, that kind of things, that looks, how she did. Baba Nana copied it, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> Both Nita Fernando and Baba Nona are religious women. Perhaps Nita a little bit more than Baba Nona. Baba Nona draws her strength from her inner resilience. She is able to emotionally release her son and thereby come to terms with her own self. The Virgin Mary, Mother of Jesus, has always been Nita's guiding light. This church is the Fernando's family parish. It has been Nita's refuge since her very, very early days. From her baptism here, to her first Holy Communion here, and even to this day. Holy Mother, she is our life. She is the mother of everything in our life. She is between Jesus, Holy Father, and us. She's asking Holy Father, everything that we need, she knows. Even the character that I do in Pansha film, Baba Nona, that's the mother. And I'm offering that character, Baba Nona, for our dear mother, Holy Mother, Our Lady, to bless us and be with us. And she has been always there in my life. For me. This is St. Sebastian's Church cartoon area, soon to be 130 years old. Nita lives very close by, just almost a stone's throw away. And this is the family parish. Whenever she is not shooting a movie, whenever she is not in Colombo, this is where she is. Sun or rain, you'll find her here every morning at 6.30. And this is where she comes to worship. Just as much as Baba Nona ran off the van that took her son Kamal away that night, in 1989, 18 years before that, in 1971, so did Nita's mother Agnes run after the vehicle that took her, Nita's brother Ivan, away that night. Yes, Ivan did live to tell the story, but Kama, perhaps he did not. All I can tell you is Baba Nona looked for her son for six years six whole years. Nita, your mother Agnes, your brother Ivan in 1971, what was that whole experience like? 
It was a shock. Like one evening, uh, the police jeep came, and that's it was a bit dark. No, it was dark around seven seven thirty, and asked my brother to get into the jeep. So he went, and he just we didn't know. My mother was uh, we were all shocked. Then they took him away, and my mother started like you know screaming and yelling and uh, crying, and she ran after the jeep until he, she found out that he was not shot, but he was safe. But he was about to get shot because uh, they took him to the, uh, the cemetery and asked them to tell the truth. Not only him, few other guys like you know, students, and they told the truth that they were attending the classes. They were attending classes. And they were asked to come certain time with black, wearing black. They went and they heard that uh, the police is uh, firing everywhere, so they came back home. And from the time he came, we didn't know that. He was closing the doors in the room and he did not open the doors. We didn't know. That was a long time ago, like a long time before the, he was caught. But uh, then after that he was not shot and he was put in the jail. He wrote his last exam, like you know, in the jail. And he, he got through. He got through very, like you know, he had had months. So that's the memory of my, that, that agony. I think I remember that agony very what much. What did you feel? You as Baba Nona, yeah. what did Nita Fonel feel? I felt uh, that my mother, I saw my mother's feelings. I, I remembered and that, that I, I thought this is my mother's character. But surprisingly, this is, I didn't know anything about this until he finished shooting. Like, I told him there's a, something in my family, uh, relations, I said. I didn't say my brother or anything. I said some relations happened to So that's about it. Julia Kass looks and my mother's feelings. I had it when I was doing that. That's what I said. Yes, um, I didn't have a clue about no. this whole story. But the thing is, you know, she was remarkably natural when she had to do the same scene, running after a van without number plates and, um, and, and, and demanding, you know, the son. You know, asking asking the, the 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 paramilitary men to leave her son behind. Yes, and um, I guess your brother's story is a uh, is he was very fortunate. So that's very fortunate yeah. ending. But to tell the yeah. that's right. So not others. But Kamal, I think he didn't know. Anybody can think whether he's living or dead. But Baba don't accepted that he not he's not in this world anymore. That is why she, she gave up everything and she didn't want anything, any peace to the sun. That's why she, I think she gave up everything and just they just go and be in peace. Water plays a significant role in the lives of both women. To Baba Nuna, the Dobi woman, it was a Siamalangamua Veva, the means of her livelihood, where she washed all those clothes. To Nita Fernando, it was this beach in Marvilla, in Cartoon area, where as a child she came with her siblings, Denzil, Ivan, and Kanti, playing in the water, on the sand, under the watchful eyes of their parents. Although it has been many years that I did Baba Nona's character, still I'm learning about her. Talking to you helped me to find out more about Baba Nona and myself. And things are coming back to me and I'm learning more and more with this Baba Nona. And thank you all for helping me to share and I hope to be with you all in time to come also. Thank you again and goodbye for now from Nilupa, Violet and Babanona.